kids who have books in their homes are more likely to do better in reading. We really wanted to make sure that we are doing everything to help these kids become stronger readers academically. You guys ready for a treat? Yeah. So we decided that we would get into our kids' neighborhoods and give away free ice cream and also free books. Hey girls, do you want to Yeah. Kids often say, I hate reading. So when we get out there and put a book in their hand, they're jumping up and down. That's the goal. See you tomorrow. Sarah doesn't just stop at thinking something. She keeps going until she brings all of those visions into reality. If you look at her hashtags, she lists all of her passions, one of which is her books and braids program. Good morning, Audrey. You're just in time for your appointment. I was trying to find a way that I could squeeze in more reading time with students. This is also a population of kids who often doesn't get the chance to go to a beauty parlor. So she just thought it would be a great combination. And it was really fun doing it with Miss Middleton. I've always read Elephant and Piggy books, which are my favorite books. <laughs> you should have taken him at... Books and Braids is really more than just reading. It's more about that one-on-one -on -one connection with a caring adult. Even some of the boys are going up and getting their, their hair done, and everyone just wants to be a part of it. Do you think that girls should get to go to school everywhere? Yes! Do you think that... Girl power is one of the greatest ideas I feel like Sarah's ever come up with. Originally, it was just supposed to be a small group of girls that talked about how girls could be anything. It was part of a literacy grant. Through the years, this Girl Power program has evolved into a program that really focuses on gender equality. Last year, I think we sent seven girls to school in Haiti. We bring in speakers. We have gone to the state capitol in Bismarck for a Women's Day at the legislature. My hope is that they will consider leadership roles in their future. She just keeps pressing the envelope into providing just the best experiences for our students. She builds confidence. She builds an environment that those kids feel safe and loved in. These children have faced obstacles with education. My goal when they come here is to give them authentic, relevant learning experiences, but also to make learning joyful for them. Even if it's something seemingly small, it made a huge impact for our kids. She's changed the lives of thousands. It doesn't get any better than that.